Auto de phase, meaning acts of faith. Auto de fe, from the Portuguese, auto de fe, meaning act of faith. A ritual of public penance carried out between the 15th and 19th centuries of condemned heretics and apostates, or those who refused to convert to Christianity. Imposed by the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition as punishment and enforced by civil authorities through beatings, hangings, and its most extreme form of death by burning. Now, if we pay close attention to this timeline, we might see that the 15th to the 19th centuries is the exact same timeline of the expulsion, enslavement, beatings, hangings, and burnings of the Negroes which was done in the territories of the inquisitions by the executors of the inquisition under the guise of acts of faith. Remember, the slave trade started with papal decrees of the Holy Roman Empire. When were they made, you might ask? Well, 1450 and 1493. 1493? But wait, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. So just a year later, all this started? And within a decade, the auto de phase and later slaveries began. Let's not forget that 50 years later in 1550, the definition of Negro was changed from black Portuguese to native African. Lastly, when the slave colonies were established in Guinea, West Africa, by the Portuguese, which were filled with the enslaved children of the Negro Jews of Spain and Portugal, the territory, which was previously known as the Western Sudan or Soyudan, now became known after the arrival of the enslaved Portuguese as Negro Land and the slave coast as the Kingdom of Judah. The Kingdom of Judah by the slave traders. I can speak on what they said about the inhabitants of Weda, but I'd rather let them speak for themselves. This quote is from Press and Bulletin Magazine, language document from the Society of Geography. Weda, Fida, Huida, Uida, Judah or Judah is a ancient city frequented since the 16th century by Portuguese slave traders who gave it its name. Its inhabitants were said to be Judaic and were viewed as a remnant of the scattered tribes of Israel. And the smoking gun is that these appellations, Negro Land and Kingdom of Judah, was actually given by the Portuguese slave traders. Now, let's take an even closer look at the auto de phase. The act was started by what is called the procession of the penitents. The process began at the doorway of the Inquisitor's Palace, located on the Plaza of St. Domingo and worked its way toward the central plaza. At the front of the procession, the inquisitors marched with their crucifix, carrying torches, whose black veil symbolized that Christ was in mourning for the heretics. The prisoners were escorted and guarded by the inquisitorial militia. And each was accompanied by two familiars of the inquisition. Those who were sentenced to receive the punishment of public flogging also had a knotted noose or a cord around their neck as a sign that they would receive lashes or go to the galleys or eventually be hung and burned at the stake. The images that you're seeing on your screen is from the procession of the penitents that would have taken place on the altar of faith, reenacted yearly in Spain. And these other images are the Ku Klux Klan in America. Is this just a coincidence that the auto de fe's were mostly executions of Negro Jews? And the Ku Klux Klan is an organization whose sole purpose is to execute the Negro and hate Jews. Both start with a procession with the militia holding crosses and torches on their way to lynch and potentially burn alive. 
Both were considered as arms of the church. Both believed that the murder of the Negro was a auto de fe or an act of faith. When a competent number of the prisoners are convicted of heresy, either by their own voluntary or exhorted confession, or upon the evidence of witness, a day is fixed by the chief inquisitor for a gold delivery, which is called by them an auto de fe or act of faith, and which is always upon a Sunday. The caveat against the pretender being a short but impartial history of some of the assassinations, murders, and inhumane slaughters committed by Pappas, by J. Morley, 1723. Dylan waited in hope for the next auto de fe, and after a length of time, he was roused one night by the goalers bearing lights. Having dressed himself and put on a black garment striped with white lines and a pair of drawers, which they had brought for him, he was led into the galleries, gallows for hanging, where he joined about 200 other prisoners, all ranged against the walls. They were mostly colored men. Well, let me say that again. They were mostly colored men men there being only about 12 white persons amongst the 200 the inquisition revealed in its origin policy cruelty in history in spain <laughs> portugal and france by reverend thompson timpson when we look closely at the auto de phase we can see the lynching of jesse washington Emmett Till, Rosewood, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Wilmington, North Carolina, the Red Summer of 1919, when murderous riots and the destruction of whole towns took place in Negro communities all over the country, which is eerily similar to the events that took place all over Portugal and ghettos in the 14th to the 16th century. 